G'day guys, Shane here from Have A Crack. Some of you may know that I've got multiple YouTube channels. The biggest one is a mobile photography channel, and on that channel I do mobile photography tutorials. So if you're looking to up your game with uh, camping photos and stuff, go and check it out. But on that channel, I review things as well, and this is something that I reviewed on that channel, and I thought you guys are probably going to like this as well, especially if you're on the cusp of doing a fit out on your four wheel drive and you're looking for a 12 volt system to go camping with. This is like bringing the power from your home out to the bush with you. This is the Jackery Explorer 2000 Pro. This thing is 2000 watts of power. It's like bringing a gas powered generator with you but without the noise and without the emissions, without the hassle. So without the gas power, how does it get power? Basically this thing is a solar generator. We can hook up to six 100 watt solar panels into this thing directly and harvest the power from the sun, change it into power we can use and store it in that box. It's pretty clever. If you haven't heard of Jackery, these guys have been working in this space for about 11 years, the solar and the power space. So after 11 years, you'd think, well, they know what they're doing now. And what this unit does is it lets us safely charge all of our gear. We can charge our drone batteries. We can charge any USB powered device. So for the, for the drone, it uh, runs on a regular GPO power point, a general purpose outlet power point, like 240 volts. And I plug that into there, plug the battery in. That way, show you know, I'll sit in right there. It's got a pure Cinewave inverter here. So I'll just turn that on. And right now, that's charging the battery for the drone. Very clever. Say I want to charge my watch. Get the watch, get the charger for the watch. Just going to plug that into the USB-C. Throw that onto my watch. Turn the USB, USB charging on. There we go. It's charging the watch as well. I've also got my iPad here. and I kind of need to charge that. So I'll just plug in up the top there to the USB-A. And plug it into the iPad. And now the iPad's charging too. All this at once. On the front of the unit here, at the top left hand corner, we've got a light. You can just pop that little rubber grommet down and turn the light on. It's very bright. Uh, it goes brighter again. I think if we hit it again, it goes like an SOS sort of situation. So I guess that kind of makes sense. If you've got this while you're camping and you have an issue, well, you can hit that SOS. And if someone's looking for you, it'll, especially by air, it'll uh, help them find you. Down from that is we have the USBs. We've got the USB-A and the USB-C. Moving along from there, we've got the inverter, so your 240 volts, 230 volts output, and we've got two of those. Above that, we've got a cigarette-style charger, if you like, so you can power things that if you have a uh, cigarette sort of charger insert to charge like lights and things like that, or run lights, you can put into there, hit that button there, and they'll all turn on for you. I don't have lots like that. I don't actually need that particular part, but... If it's any, like anything else on this thing, it's, it's going to work well. So pretty much any sort of 240 volt, 240 volt power tool even, or toasters, or microwaves, coffee makers, all those sorts of things, you can run directly off this. So if you're someone who does go camping and you don't have a 12 volt system in your car, this is absolutely something that will replicate that for you. You can run the charging for your all your USB stuff as well as your 240 volt stuff. This is not just for camping. You can use this for anything. I've used it at home a few times. When power goes out, we can use this to run our fridge and freezers and it'll stay frozen and, and cold until the power comes back on. It's 2000 watts. And if you've got the solar panels outside while this is going, it's replenishing the power that you're using. In fact, pretty much anything that's under 2000 watts and can run on a generator, you can run on this thing. It just works. So with all the outlets that are on there, you can charge like seven things at a time between the USB-A, USB-C, your 240 volts or 230 volts, your car lighter, uh, cigarette lighter plug. You can run a lot of things on this at once and it will just work fine as long as you keep it around that 2000 watts. Let's have a look at this thing. You can charge up to seven things at once. The outlets, the GPOs, the general purpose outlets uh, through the inverter here. Um, you can run both of those, 230, 230 volts, uh, at about 2,200 watts, and it'll peak at 4,000 watts. That alone is pretty damn good. So at the moment, I'm using that just to charge my drone batteries. Um, these are 230 volts, so if you're not in Australia and you're looking at these, because I know a lot of you guys are out there not from Australia, make sure when you order one of these, you get the appropriate output 
for your area. So if your power points don't look like that, get the ones that do. Moving along here, we've got two USB a outlets these are running at 18 watts maximum this is where i'll use to charge uh, things like some batteries some led panels things like that underneath this we've got uh, two usb c outputs uh, 100 watt maximum and it's perfect for doing phones and tablets and things like that so that's a 230 the usb and the 12 volt car output up here that will go at 10 amps on the back of the unit here we've got two rubber grommets that will come down uh, this one here is your DC charging. This will run uh, for, on 240 volts from, from your house and it's going to charge the whole thing in about two hours from flat. On this side here is your DC input. Uh, this one here you can charge directly from your car, from the cigarette lighter on your car and it comes with all these cables. But the best thing about this, this here is where your solar panels plug in. That is the best way to charge this thing in my opinion. The solar panels that Jackery make are really well built you can just see the quality in these things this is a 100 watt panel on the back of the panel it's got these uh, velcro stands so you open these up and this will help this will just stand the panels up keep in mind this unit will take six of these so we'll put that there in the sun on the back of the unit there's a pouch in that pouch is this hardwired cable we just plug this directly into the DC outlets and that is now charging. The other thing on the front here is the display. The display on this is actually very intuitive. So it's got 54% battery life at the moment. At the, on the left hand side, you can see the input. There's 23 watts, 26 watts. That's coming from that solar panel. If it was a bit brighter at the moment, it would be charging at a higher rate, obviously. Underneath that is the hours that it's going to take now to charge it. So you can see on the side there, nothing is going out. The output, this is my iPad. I'll plug it in. And I've turned that port on there with that button. It's charging the iPad now. So the number on the top is the wattage that's going into the iPad. The uh, number below is the amount of hours that this has left charging at that rate. Now you can see here it's only drawing out 13 watts. And over here it's bringing in 47 watts. So this will just run in indefinitely until the solar is not charging. So whilst you have solar panels set up, and you'll just need to work out your calculations as to what your output will be with your situation because everybody's going to have a different situation. The more output you have, the more input you need, so the more solar panels you would order to go onto this. Like I said, there's going to, you, can, you can put up to six there at, at a time, so 600 watts of power coming into the unit and if you're drawing under that, it'll just run and run and continue to run and you charge it all day and you can use it all night. Now Jackery doesn't just make these in the 2000 watt, uh, they make them in numerous versions. Uh, go and check out the website, I'll link it down the bottom there. Find the one that suits you. I've been testing this now for a couple of weeks and it's pretty damn good, I've been so impressed with it. When we were touring Japan, I saw these everywhere, all, all different models of them. Uh, they're very popular over there. It's because they're so focused on electronics. So if you are someone who likes your gadgets, likes your electronics, wants to bring them to the field with you, I can't recommend this enough. And you may think these are pretty expensive, but for what they do, you, they're not expensive at all. When you consider that a regular generator is going to cost you a bit, you're going to have your ongoing costs of fuel, and the price of fuel in Australia is just freaking ridiculous. All those costs add up. This is a one-off purchase, and it will last you forever. <laughs>